actually got held for a while at the bridge just behind us there because um, there must have been a boat coming in or ship. Oh gosh. <laughs> Look. Slide right onto Charles M. Rowland Drive. There's a huge, um, is it Royal Caribbean? That's what that is, isn't it? There's a huge Royal Caribbean ship beside us as well. It is so big. The last ship I seen was the Disney Magic for the staycation cruises in the UK and this looks like twice the size, if not more. Oh my gosh, it's huge. It's huge. Oh, it's big. It's big. It's big. <laughs> I feel like everybody that sees a cruise ship for the first time, like up close, thinks the same thing. It's just shocking how big it is. The rooms are like little dots. You know, we're gonna have a room with a little balcony. Oh, I'm so excited. We're obviously in our car, so we're gonna use the cruise parking you actually just pay when you show up you used to have to make reservations years ago but um, now you just show up make sure you have a card and then I think you pay on entry uh, we're first of all gonna drop off our luggage and um, yeah then park up and head into the terminal parking was pretty busy we've parked on level two though we're over on the ramp quite difficult with a huge vehicle that we've got but we managed to squeeze in all right so once you park then you head over the bridge this is where they are doing the luggage drop off down here. So we stopped in, dropped our luggage, parked. Then you cross over the bridge into the terminal. The bridge is on level three. They have signs and everything though. We are through Secure E. We're just heading up into the terminal now. Rachel and Mam are just behind us. And uh, I'm just gonna run to the loo. <laughs> here we are. So as soon as we got through, our group was already boarding, which is great. So we don't need to chill out in the terminal or anything. We can just head right in. We get to go through the Mickey ears. Here we go. Oh my gosh. We're getting on. Oh my gosh. Is this not the most exciting moment? Oh. Hi. Family over here. The B family. The B family. Mm -hmm. Please welcome aboard the B family. <laughs> We're on! We're on! Oh yeah, look! They're putting the Halloween stuff up. I think we're literally the first ha Halloween high seas cruise. Oh my gosh! We're on board! I actually can't believe we're on board. Oh my gosh! We are looking for some elevators. We've just come past the shops. Oh my gosh, we're coming up to the theatre now. Yeah, look, there should be elevators right there, look, before the theatre. That map is quite cool. Here's the Walt Disney Theatre. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we have to go there. Yeah. At the Hyperspace Lounge. Don't you have to like book that every day at the start of the... I don't know what it is. Oh. Oops. Let's go. Oh no, I don't know what level it is, do you? Does it say? 11. Eleven, please. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we're going to get some food. So we're heading up to Marceline Market straight away. Just got to fill our tummies first. <laughs> I feel like this is what gets really busy as well at the start. All right, we are now on the open deck. I think this is where we have all the different types of food, like the different. They have like Mexican and um, different grills and stuff. This is Goofy's Grill. Looks like it's burgers and hot dogs. But I think we're gonna head down to the main buffet. Yeah. We've got ice cream. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so exciting. It's so weird like getting on the ship as well that I know nothing about. We've got drinks here. Oh my gosh. 
So this is where the sail away party will be. Oh, the aqua mess looks so cool. Oh my gosh. It's also overwhelming. There's so much going on. Okay. Oh, I didn't actually realize there was two slides. That's cool. All right. I think this is my advice. Anyway, this is what we like to do. We get on the ship, just go sit down, chill, have a bit of food, get yourself set up on the app, connected to the Wi-Fi, get everything sorted so you can just chill and kind of like absorb the situation. <laughs> Looks like we've made it to Marceline Market. Yeah, I think we just find a table, drop all of our stuff. Gotta wash our hands first. We are on board. We're sat in the Marceline Market. Uh, I did think the food actually looked really, really good on the little sections that we walked past those ones where I was saying there was like Mexican and then there was like burgers and hot dogs that's definitely what I want to try out uh while we're here like that looks really really good but I did think maybe coming here might be good to start with just because it's a little bit more enclosed it's actually just a little bit cooler um the main deck is getting a little bit more sun at the moment so yeah it's nice being in here I have to say it's not like aircon's not amazing it is a bit warm but it's bearable for sure um so i am just now sat at the window we can see it down to the terminal so apologies it was a bit rushed as we were coming through like everything happens quite quickly so um we queued like all along this road here all the way around and then you get assigned a number where you pull in and that's where you drop your luggage um unfortunately our luggage tags didn't make it to us uh, before we left but that was fine we just gave our stateroom number and they took them anyway and then we went over this way to the parking garage entrance and here you just give your card uh, they swipe it and then uh, take the charge so obviously everybody who's parking here is getting on the wish and so it's just a flat fee i think we paid like 75 dollars but then we parked here in the parking lot now it was super busy you can see there were loads of people parked on the top because it is quite full but we did manage to get a space in the shade looks like level four there like the one just below the top isn't too bad it looks like there's plenty of spaces there um, and then once you do that you come across this bridge here and it's only when you get across then that you get your documents checked so here they check to make sure we had our port arrival forms out and then we also had our passports and then once we actually got in the terminal that's where they did proper check-in where they like um yeah proper check your documents and um, confirmed with us that we had our estas and then we went into the terminal and um, after doing our security screening, so they took our bags, much like at an airport, put them through a scanner, and then we came in here to the main terminal. And like you saw, our boarding group was called right away, so we just came straight on board. All right, first round of food. Dad's gone for a seafood gumbo with some bread on the side. He's enjoying it already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mom has got some chicken. What kind of chicken? It looks like teriyaki or something. Salmon. Oh, salmon. Salmon teriyaki? Yes. Looks nice and some veggies. Rachel's gone for pot stickers and chips and rice and sauce and a Coke. I went with the kids' choice of chicken goujons and chips and I have got tomato and mayonnaise mixed in there in my little sauce tubs. So we finished up our food, it was delicious. Those chicken goujons are amazing as always. We're just now heading off to Hyperspace Lounge. We're gonna just check that out. I know we have to book, I'm actually not sure when you can book it, so. I figure we just go and check it out. It was pretty crazy up there at Marcy Market, as you can imagine. All right, so we actually just settled down at a table at the Bayou. We still don't have our rooms yet, by the way. Um, we're gonna go in and see if we can just pop in here. So just to ensure that all guests are able to enjoy the experience, seating or living to a maximum of 45 minutes. All right. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Oh. There it is. Oh, this is cool. Should we have told them to come in here? Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, so completely scratch that. We're actually going to sit in here in the hyperspace lounge. Lisa's just gone to get mom and dad from the bayou. Um, it's all cool in here. I don't know how it works normally. I'm pretty sure you might have to like book a time slot or something. And we're, we'll ask. We'll ask somebody while we're here. I'm so excited. Guys, I didn't really like watch a lot of vlogs on the Disney Wish. I just really wanted a lot of things to be surprised. I know that means like it might be a little hectic, there might be some things we don't know, but we have, I think, even an eye on Facebook groups and things to try and 
keep up with like what things we need to do in advance and what things we need to know. Um, but I don't know, I'd like to just come and see something before like I get loads of spoilers. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. All right, Rachel's got our, I don't know what you call this, our data pad. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Good, thank you. So here's our special menu. Yes, I'm on over it and I'll be to show you. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer. Awesome, thank you so much. What are those? We've ordered a bit of a collection. We've gone with the Spire Sunset, the Chancellor, the Golden One, and the Tatuni. So they sound pretty cool. How cool is the bar? So we have some bits going on out the window in space. We've got these like concoctions over the far right. It's lovely and empty in here right now. This is the perfect time to go. They're making our cocktails over there. Oh, this is so cool. like an old-fashioned but look can you see how it's sparkling it's got like glitter and stuff in it I think that's coming from the ice cube how cool is that Rachel's got this thing in her drink you don't <laughs> know what it is I thought it was bonbon bon, then I thought it was mochi and it is neither it's not a bonbon it's not mochi what are you I'm trying to get your audio <laughs> <laughs> it's not whatever I thought it was and what is it though Rachel and Dad should play together. It's actually so good. What is this ship though? I think it's the capital ship. I've just tried That's to Google it. Is. The capital ship. There was it also could be the destroyer or something. I think it also could be the devastator. I'm not sure. I don't know. I actually I'm not great with the names of the ships, so I'm sure somebody will let me know because I'm very interested. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Oh, I need to press the Oh there we go. That was so much fun. I'm so glad we did that right away. It kind of just killed some time as well while the ship was really busy because nobody had their staterooms. Um, look at the bayou though, isn't it beautiful? Rachel has already scoped this place out because she wants beignets. 
Oh, you're pointing them out on the menu? Three beignets, three dollars. That's decent. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful it is. I love it. Okay, they've taken the little construction bit down for the Halloween decorations. Look how cute it is. Oh my gosh. So Rachel, when did the wish start sailing? Last year, was it? So it's only the second time they've had Halloween high seas. This is so fun. Okay, we're now gonna go to our stateroom and get situated there. I'm still not situated with where we are on the ship. I think we need to go over there. Yeah, lifts and elevators. Oh, this is so fun. So we checked our dining reservations. We have Avengers tonight. Marvel. Marvel. Marvel? Okay. Well, that includes Avengers. Can't explain how much better it is in the areas where there is no carpet. The carpet is the struggle. Um, we had to bring on cabin cases because you have to take your alcohol on board yourself. This is our stateroom, 9650. They put the little key cards on the door for you. But Rachel's Magic Band Plus is also linked. Yeah. Right, I'll get in and then I can pull the cases in. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, so this is our cabin. We have our bed here. So we are in Cinderella, right? Yep. Lovely. I love the fairies. That's such a beautiful picture. And... Presents? Oh, my presents are next door. Oh my gosh, I need to go get my presents. Hold on. Oh, presents! Thank you, mommy. I'll be you later. Bye. Enjoy your room. It's a, um, because we're part of the Silver Castaway Club, we've got one. Um, don't know yet. Have to open it. Do you want to see? Do you want to hold that and point at it? I think it's a bag. So this is because we've been on more than one cruise, basically. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's the one I wanted. It's so nice. And then it's got a little zip thing. Oh. So it's like lined. Perfect beach bag. And then we also get a lanyard. For being silver. So you can put our room key in there. I use both go. Yeah, so because, okay, let me explain. So this is why we're in separate rooms because Rachel and I are both silver, but you and mom are first time sailing, which means you don't have a silver status yet. So yeah. that's why we put us in, in a room each with one of you so that you guys got all the silver benefits, like getting to check right, in early okay. and, yeah, yeah. and all that. So, but obviously you guys are staying together and me and Rachel are staying together. But if I we had it booked it that way, then you would have been able to I check know, in at the yeah. same time as us and stuff. Cool. So you would have had a much later port arrival time and things like that. Well done. Thank you. You're welcome. Before we destroy the room, let's actually do a proper little cabin tour. I've just put the air con down. So the air con's over here. And it's actually quite warm in the cabins, not going to lie. So put it all the way down to the bottom. I thought this was like on. Does that do like a little boost? I don't know. But um, yeah, we need to get the cabin cooler. It's really warm. I think once the ship moves, hopefully... It won't be as warm. Yeah. So I remember being cold on the ship last time. So yeah. hopefully that's the case. I like being cold. Um, so on the bed then we've got two little bedside lockers. They've got little reading lights. And then this one on this side has the European outlet. So I actually brought a European plug so that we could use that. And then it's also got two USB-A um, plug-in slots. And then this side's a bit better. This side's got two US plug-in slots, two USB-A's and a USB-C. And then it's also got the reading light and the lamp and the little locker. Then we've got our sofa bed here. So I think we're going to make use of this. And we've also got the like bunk bed that pulls down, which we're probably not going to make use of. And then we've got a cute little picture of Cinderella. That's really nice. The artwork is beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I like then that you have this curtain so you can like close off from the person that's in this bed to this bed, like... I don't know, maybe someone's staying up a bit late and the other person wants to close off or just get changed or something, you know? It's just an extra little bit of privacy. Then we've got our desk here with no chair. Oh, no, it does have a chair. It's under there. So we've got a little bin underneath here. I feel like this ship just uses space so much better. And mm -hmm. um, we've got all these little cubby hole things. We've got drawers. Rachel's going to help demonstrate. Oh, we got our little um, cards. What are they? Oh, that's for ordering breakfast. But then what are these things? These are like postcards. 
That's probably for the tips, is it? Oh, oh yeah. No, I think that might be for the postcards. Yeah. You can send your postcards from Castaway Key as well if you want to do that. They have a special post office there, and I think it gets a special stamp then too. Rachel's little silver gift is there. We've got a hair dryer. Heat mat. Oh, and a heat mat. That's handy. All right, what's down here? More cubby holes. They're nice and deep, aren't they? They go back real far. Yeah. Like you get a good bit in there. Okay, I'm just going to show while Rachel demonstrates. Oh, empty drawer. Nothing in there. And I think this is our fridge. Ta -da! So it's a bit of an odd fridge. It's really for beverages. So they have it kind of sectioned off so you can put your beverages in there, which is cool. It's handy for like your bottles of beer and stuff. And then we've got some glasses in the room, which is handy. And then some more like cubby spaces. Obviously we've got our veranda out there. We'll wait for that. We'll save that to last. Then um, <laughs> both of our shoes are just here. But under the bed is plenty of storage. You'd probably get like two large suitcases, maybe two cabins as well. It will let you know because we have two large suitcases, two cabins. Although Rachel's uh, bag has not arrived yet, but everyone else's has. We're going to check out the wardrobes now. So this is a slide or open slide. Ooh. Uh, we have our life vests. This is a handy space. You could definitely fit a suitcase here. And then there's the oh, ladder like for the me. bunk bed. Or you. You're going to hide in the wardrobe. In there. You definitely could. Yeah. Go on. No. Be like friends. I'll just, you'll go in and I'll just like yeah. put something across the door. Just... <laughs> um, then we have cubby holes. Again, these are super deep. Loads and loads of space. So we'll put our um, packing cubes in there. We've got a laundry bag. That laundry bag is really cute, actually. And a safe. More cubby space. All right gonna slide our door and we slide our other door oh there it is robes oh my gosh we were so excited for the robes not gonna lie <laughs> they are so nice oh they are they're proper nice robes as well this is such a nice benefit of the wish because i just love getting a robe look it's got the cruise line thing on it it's so nice and it's a light one as well it's not got that inside fur that i have on my old key west one that's really nice i'm so excited for that this is i think the bathroom yeah well the toilet room so we've got our toilet some towels a bit more storage space then we've got our hand soap our sink some little storage shelves here which is really handy and then as well over there and then we've also got hooks oh looks like our air con's just kicking in now okay so we did realize that we probably should have put a key in the key slot so i think now it's kicking in rachel's just hit that little booster oh, button yeah. yeah oh gosh it's so warm in here um so yeah and sick then we bags. have oh we've got sick bags yeah just in case just in case we won't be needing those right <laughs> um i do like that the toilet is separate to the shower it makes it so handy especially when you're like two people trying to get ready because it tends to be like a narrow window doesn't it in the evening when you're getting ready to go to dinner and stuff let's see What's in here? Oh, it's our shower room. That's a nice wide bath. Like I know it's not um long, but the width is good. It's deep. Um, and then we've got body wash, conditioner, shampoo. We've got our shower head here and a couple of more shelves. Then we've got a little vanity unit here with some facial soap, another little bin, another little storage spot with a towel. And I don't think this pulls out, does it? No that's just the tissues then we've got body lotion towels a little makeup face cloth which is pretty cute and a couple of more shelves and then we've got our towels there as well but yeah this is pretty cool we've got our light switch here we've got two more hooks here as well that you can hang your towels or your robe i think that's everything in the bathroom oh and you've got your little washing line up there as well and a full length mirror on the door. This is the one that you want to use then when you're checking yourself out. Back into the toilet room, there is a night light and a main light. So if you turn the main light off, you can turn the night light on. Oh, maybe I turned that off. Turn it on. <laughs> and it just means you can get up and then go to the bathroom during the night and it's not gonna like shine a big bright light into the room. Oh, we have to get a veranda. The best part. Car park view. <laughs> oh my gosh. Watch your step. Oh, this is amazing. We've got our two chairs, our little table. It's a decent amount of space as well. Now, what we're gonna do is get this partition removed between mom and dad so that we have a bigger veranda, which will be really nice. Then we can sit out together. 
Oh yeah, there's the car park. We've come upstairs to deck 12. This is the Rose Bar, I guess. This is where you would come before you have your meal at Paolo or Enchante. We've just taken a sneak peek into Paolo. It is fabulous. And this is Enchante. Wow. So pretty. We are in the bayou by special request of Rachel. Over here many times. You have been so excited for this, so we have our beignets to share. We got some iced waters. It's almost time to go up for the sail away party. commenting about how there's quite a few different little places to get nice coffee we are gonna have a look in mickey main sale we were actually up here already we came right as it opened but it was pretty carnage <laughs> and we didn't see anything we were too crazy about wow <laughs> yeah i definitely don't want to buy another spirit jersey but they have a nice jumper that t-shirt's lovely we just got a halloween t-shirt though yeah 29.99 yeah, that's it. I don't need another Halloween t-shirt. Nice, the jumper is gorgeous, though. I don't need a jumper either, though. It is cray cray banane in here right now. No, that's lovely. What that, this model is wearing looks nice. That's over there. Look, it's a bit short, though. Yeah, it looks different on the model. It, over there, they have it. It looks very short. Oh yeah, the queue is insane. This one's nice. Mm, it's a bit thicker than I thought. I thought it'd be nice and light material. Yeah, that is nice. $60 though. That's probably the nicest mug they have. And it's a nice size, so. But yeah, there's nothing in the mug section that's like blowing me away either. Good to know, we do get 10% um, off with TVC. Which is good. You don't get anything off with annual pass, though. Oh, the hat is cute. Try it on there. It actually goes with your outfit. The color is perfect for your shirt. Oh, well, that's actually really nice. You actually look like you matched intentionally. All right, let's have a look. That's quite nice. We've got so many water receptacles <laughs> or drink receptacles. And we just... Receptacles? Receptacle. Is that not a word? Receptacle? Vessels. Vessels. I think a receptacle is the same. Is it? Receptacle. Did I just make that up? Oh my gosh. I don't like the um, luggage. They have a few different ones. Oh, do they? The shirt's cute. I like that top. Mm. That's nice. The print's just a bit odd. Yeah. This bottle's gorgeous. Turbis as well. It's really nice. That's forty dollars. That's a good price, actually. I like that. Oh, that's, cool. Yes. that's cool. I like all the ones that are like that with the kind of drawings. Yeah, like yeah, that's nice too. I actually can't believe we just did that. I can't believe we went into the shop. Yes. So and didn't buy anything. Have we matured? No. Frugal. 
stingy, cheap. <laughs> what is it? Self control. Exercise and self control. Whoa. I always find the movement on the ship is worse on the way out and on the way back. So just after you've left port and as you're coming back into port. So if you do get on the ship and you start freaking out, don't worry, it will get better. All right, we're back in the stateroom. We're in, in an unpacking mess. Um, the ship is the ship is shipping right now. It is it's moving around. Um, I am not great with motion sickness. Like I said, this bit. Leaving port is the worst. So my poor mom, she's not feeling great either. So dad's actually going to the show. Rachel and I are staying here. We've ordered some room service. I thought we could watch the show here in the stateroom, but I couldn't find it on the TV. So that's a shame. But anyway, we're going to just have our cheese board and we've got an apple juice and orange juice you can't get soft drinks like included or for free to the room but you can get juices so that's good to know we are out on our veranda the sun is just setting off in the distance we've managed to get our divider down so we can see mommy and daddy hi <laughs> dad's back there somewhere too pouring some prosecco i think this is a good idea if you are feeling the motion like i said when you're moving out if the ship just goes real fast and you do feel a bit of motion first night last night it's just always going to be the worst so if you are feeling that way i do recommend if you have a balcony or if you just go up onto the top deck just sit and look out at the ocean it definitely helps me a lot oh here comes the prosecco thank you kind sir we are on deck nine did i say we were on deck nine i think we did we're on deck nine chilling so it is 25 past seven we've got what, about 15 minutes till dinner that was a big yawn. Yeah. Do you know what? Like, embarkation day is chaotic. It is wild. Like, and you have that mustard drill is draining, isn't it? It was roasting. Uh, cheers. Yeah. Cheers. I can't reach it, but cheers. Cheers. Happy cruise. Happy cruise. Happy cruise. Cheers. Oh, cheers, daddy. Oh, thank you. You pass my cheers to mommy. Cheers. Cheers. We are on our way down to dinner, looking dapper. We have dinner in the Marvel restaurant today. <laughs> Mom's nearly causing a traffic jam there. Rachel nearly went to a collision. <laughs> Mom is great at just deciding to stop out nowhere, isn't she? Or just keep going. Yeah, or just keep going. <laughs> Like, we'll just come out of somewhere. Mom will just start power walking in a random direction when she doesn't know where she is. <laughs> but she goes with purpose, though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to the Avengers Technology Showcase. Our mission is, is to inspire excited? the next generation of heroes with live demonstrations of exciting yeah. new technologies. <laughs> You're hungry. It's going to be unexpected. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh, look at the cool things on the table. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love Marvel as well. Yes. This is us. So at our table, we've got these really cool Avengers plates. And we've got our Avengers themed menu. I don't know what this thing is in the center. Rachel says she's watched the vlog. She, know what's go she knows what's going on. But I have no idea, so we'll have to wait. It's a Yogi Mabobber. <laughs> And then there's this thing. Is that just like a uh, wine topper or something? I don't know what that is. Or no, that's pepper. <laughs> Let's take a look. Okay, we've got showcase apps. Dill and mayo lemon marinated shrimp. Oh my gosh, that sounds great. Oh, steamed bao bun. Hearts of palm with cilantro. What is a heart of palm? I feel like people get that a lot. It's like a vegetable, right? Do we call it something else at home? Is it like a... Um, What's that? What's that vegetable called? That's a flower. What's that? No, what's that vegetable? It's like a, ye a yellow flower. I feel like it's the same thing. It's like a yellow flower on the top and then it's like a vegetable. Oh, what's it called? No. It looks nearly like a chulo. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, now we've got sauteed 
Cremanian oyster mushrooms. Oh my gosh, that also sounds amazing. I want all the starters. Heirloom tomato salad, iceberg wedge. All right, so working down, we've got some soups then as well. White cheddar and broccoli soup, cream potato soup. We've got a marble loaf with red bell pepper dip. And that bread service just came out. So this is that marble loaf. It's kind of red looking and then it has, whoa. <laughs> and he went up in the air. Um, the red bell pepper dip and sauce. And also then some butter as well. All right, then moving on to entrees. We've got a spiced pork chop. Oh, chicken snitchel sounds good too. Grilled tuna steak, golden mystic pasta, rosemary roasted beef tenderloin, ricotta gnocchi, shiitake and tofu udon. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Okay, what's drawn my attention is probably the shrimp. Um, I like the sound of the mushrooms. And in terms of the entrees, Probably the beef tenderloin, that sounds really nice. So this is the bread, it kind of looks like a potato, like a red potato. This is the red pepper dip, it's actually quite nice, it's quite tasty. Okay, so my mom went for the heirloom tomato salad, dad and I got the shrimp, and then Rachel went for the bao bun, which looks great actually. Our dinner show is just about to start, so apparently we're going to have to push this button, but we have to wait until they tell us to do it. Alright, verdicts on food, Rachel? Lovely. Well, you ate it all. <laughs> um, I thought the shrimp was really nice. I'm just, I'm having a little bit of motion sickness, so I've just gone a bit easy on the food. Um, the mushrooms were probably my favorite, though I preferred those to the shrimp. What do you think? Yeah, mushrooms. Mushrooms. Are mushrooms. Shrimp was nice, but the mushrooms. Just yeah. Allow me to explain. If only we had the time. Anyway, tonight, through the power of quantum science, we will show you how to get a new machine in the world. Now, look. Rachel's got the beef, I can't remember what it was called, but it looks amazing. Beef tenderloin, yeah, it looks great with the buttered asparagus. So our server recommended the chicken schnitzel, so that's what I got. And then we got an extra beef tenderloin um, to share for the table. Dad's got the pasta, the pasta scallop. with the scallops were the main part. Yeah, the scallops look it. amazing, don't they? Oh, it was so funny. One of the, um, what would you say he was to us? The head server came over and said that. Mom's dinner was a bit boring, and if she wants to change it, she <laughs> What was it, Mom, again? Just chicken breast. Just a chicken breast with some veggies. He was like, the chicken snitches is so much more exciting. Do you want to swap it? <laughs> Here is the top secret menu. <laughs> Rachel's already declared she's going for the key lime pie. All right, what else have we got? Sticky J pudding, nano dobos torta, layered cake, rich chocolate, truffle cream caramel. Oh my gosh, that sounds great. The signature dessert is a cheesecake bite. Fresh berries, strawberry jelly, whipped cream. Oh, I'm tempted by that. The donut sundae sounds great too. Bunch of course are back online. Oh my gosh. Ah! Yay! We did it! The final course then dessert. So this is the signature dessert, the cheesecake. We got one of those to share on the table. And then Rachel and I both got the key lime pie. I think dad got the date. Like a, basically a sticky toffee pudding, sticky right? Pudding, yeah. yeah. Mom got some weird now. She got like a <laughs> beer root cake okay. or something. It looks nice. Um, but yeah, that looks like a sticky toffee pudding basically with ice cream. That looks great as well. I just thought that'd be a bit too heavy for me now. But not for dad. He has all the. <laughs> Dig in, guys. Is that real? Yeah. It's real, right? I have a pipe. Check this pipe. Is that real? <laughs> okay, hold it for me, please. 
Snake, it's a cobra snake. A cobra snake? Yeah. Do, 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 is it do. is it not two swans? The fathead. <laughs> no, it's, it's not two swans. swans. It's a big fathead. Yeah, the cobra has the big fathead. That's a big. Yeah, but look cobra. at his body. Looks weird it's though. It's a cobra. Is it like? It's a cobra. Like in the Lion King? No, in what? Aladdin. <laughs> yeah, the cobra snake. Oh, okay. Okay, well I'm not. Is yours the same? <laughs> oh yeah, it's the same. Oh, you get chocolates? Yeah. Can we get chocolates? Yeah, we got chocolates. Sweet dreams chocolates. Ooh, sweet dreams chocolates. Oh. All right, mommy and daddy, we're gonna say the highlights of the meal. Everything you had? Everything I had. Oh, oh. Yeah. dad, favorites? Oh, favorites. The, the beef, beef definitely was Top. fantastic. Yeah. Your dessert though. And the, and the dessert, the, the date coffee pudding. Yeah. Yeah, they were fantastic. I mean, a little bit disappointed with the shrimp, to be fair. Same. Yeah. Same. A little Same. bit disappointed with the shrimp. Cheesecake was, yeah. Meh. Yeah. Definitely the cheesecake was meh. Yeah. Um, soup was nice. Yeah. I mean, there wasn't much. Mushrooms. Wasn't, yeah, the mushrooms were lovely. There wasn't much around. The scallops was gorgeous with the pasta. Yeah. But definitely the beef and the beef and the sticky toffee was. The uh, highlight. They were. The Spider-Man. Spider-Man was your highlight? <laughs> Beef, yeah, same. The beef was so good. Yeah. yeah. So my highlight was also the beef. I really liked the mushroom starter. Um, I wasn't a big, I wasn't a massive fan of the shrimp either. Actually, I think because it was, I don't know, I wasn't expecting it to be cold. Um. Oh. Yeah. That actually, is, that's a, that's a good point. Yeah. That's, it was cold. That's what like threw I wasn't me off. It to be cold. Um. So yeah, I like the mushroom starter was my favorite. Although your starter looked amazing. My bell bomb was good. You didn't share that with anybody. No, you didn't it's actually. The bell one looked the best. The sauce was really nice. I think that was probably the best starter, and I had a bit of food envy there. Um, for the mains, the, this initial was okay. It was nice, but yeah, the beef, nice. the beef was the best, and the um, scallops on your pasta were nice. Yeah, but I think really overall good. the dish, like, do you know what I mean? I would like the yeah. scallops as a starter, maybe. Yeah. Like they didn't need the pasta, and then for dessert, Dad's dessert was the best. The yeah. sticky date, whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah. And Spider-Man. <laughs> We're just chilling out on the balcony. We've got our adjoining balcony. We're in our PJs. <laughs> Except for Dad, because he didn't bring any PJs. And just looking out. It's actually so weird seeing the sea all dark. You can just see it with the lights off the side of the ship. Well, it's very hard to tell through the balcony. But we've been watching out for... Um, there's been some lightning off in the distance. Cruise ship with the no, can't really see it. There is a that little tiny dot is a cruise ship off in the distance. Oh, well, yeah, just finishing the night with some chills. I find that sitting on the balcony like this is just so peaceful, especially when there's not there's nobody else around. I think everyone else is going to bed, or else they're off doing something. We are in bed. I'm gonna leave the vlog here. It's been a very long embarkation day. <laughs> 
embarkation. <laughs> is that not what it is? You just said it weird. I said it weird. Um, yeah, it's been a it's been a long day. We're very tired. It's only like half ten, but we're planning to get up early tomorrow. We want to wake up with the ship, and we want to get to Castaway Key really early. So, we're gonna get to bed. Hopefully, get a good sleep, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.